Welcome to episode 3 on the Chunk Craft series. Today's series we've starting out with a little bit of catching up since we've uh, not really recorded or done anything in a while. Um, the last time I was actually on was actually when I streamed um, oh, about a week ago, probably over a week ago by the time I published this video. Um, the plan for today is um, kind of go over what we've done since then. The main thing is going to be to go ahead and take a quick look at what other people have done, um, check out where we are at in the end, and then start preparation for um, getting into the end in the next episode or maybe on stream. Um, so that will require unlocking some chunks to find it, um, getting a little bit more supplies, and doing some armor because right now I am living off of um, the generosity of someone who um, accidentally made an extra just plate. Um, so yeah, that's kind of all I have going on for me at the moment. Before that though, I wanted to go ahead and do a little bit of cleaning up around here. Um, people have been doing a lot of cool stuff. Um, but there are some things that uh, I do kind of want to get started with. Um, adding an iron farm somewhere around here-ish, um, since uh, those are always cool. Sin since the last stream or video, when I whatever you guys last watched, a um, lot more people have joined. We have made a lot of progress. We've got villagers. Um, someone cured some zombie villagers, so we got those. Um, we actually found the end. Someone else did that. Uh, we've expanded our sorting system area, um, and people have started to make their own bases. Um, and we have this thing. I, yeah, I haven't used this yet. Um, but yeah, uh, for starting off with this iron farm, I'm going to use a design that I've, um, sort of made my own, uh, basically just trying to simplify down what exactly an iron farm is, um, is the idea. It's not super complicated. Um, but yeah, for that, we'll go ahead and start by building the thing. Um, then we'll go ahead and have to clear out some of the, um, blocks around to prevent spawns. And then I'll go ahead and um, fill in with the villagers and zombie that I'll need for that. And yeah, with this we should have the materials necessary to go ahead and build the farm. It's not that expensive of a farm. We have a few beds, um, a few other things, and we're just going to go ahead and build it over here in this corner, try to stay a little bit far away from the wall so we don't end up having iron golem spawn on it, um, and then we'll clear out the area underneath. Um, so, yeah. And um, actually, uh, surprisingly, all three villagers went in there in like um, two minutes. Um, I, th there was like one casualty. This villager decided that um, he wanted to wander around. All that's left is to mine it out and go ahead and place the... Um, And as it's not again, uh, it is now a good time to go ahead and grab the last piece of the iron farm. I've uh, almost done mining. Um, all I need now do is go ahead and add a single zombie that is either holding an item or name tag so it won't despawn up into that top little area. Um, as you guys can see, I've mined out quite a bit more of that. Um, and hopefully with uh, I'll be able to finish it up a little bit later um, and then remove... Um, some of the iron golems that have um, been cruising around anyways. Also, that is uh, that is an accident waiting to happen. Um, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and find a zombie. Alright, and now I've gone ahead and completely um, added a collection system, expanded this wall a little bit since iron golems were spawning there, and also killed a few iron golems that were spawning down, that spawned down here that were messing with the whole thing. Um, <laughs> There's still quite a few things that I do need to probably do before it's all done, but as you guys can see, there are iron golems spawning, um, and we do have a bit of iron. Uh, I don't know how much of that's from the farm and just from before, um, or from cleaning up the iron golems around. Um, but yeah, uh, all's it set up, all's good, um, and I think we're ready to go ahead and start preparing for the end stuff. Um, I think the first thing I want to do is go ahead and figure out maybe a little bit more armor. Thank you. 
Um, and uh, before I finish that, someone had a brief intermission period where they wanted me to go ahead and read a book. The Book of Law from 2024. Uh, the Full Code of Law, Population Data, Tax, Property, and Rights, by order of his Supreme Court. <laughs> it enforced by Deadpool. Okay, so apparently um, we are turning this uh, server into a um, town. Can make residency outside the walls. Theft from property that was lawfully established is prohibited. Okay, so apparently um, we are going to be establishing a lot of rules. Any project built by an individual that's Lies any use to the community, example, will cause all other rights for ownership of the property to cease. Thus, you may not destroy the future. Um, tax must be paid in full and on time. Any breaking of these laws will result in persecution. Uh, any loophole to evade will result in... <laughs> oh, this is, this is going to be a great... Oh, no. I do appreciate someone drafting rules. Um, I, I mean, it makes my job so much easier. Um, I can just, you know, accept them and then... Whenever you guys complain about them, just blame it all on Deadpool. This seems like a really good plan. Uh, this is not currently implemented, but the tax will be sent to the tax collections office. All right, cool. We don't have a tax yet. That is good to know. Property must be registered to the tax collection office. Unregistered use of land is persecutable. Um, when on and only on your private land, like laws section B1, 2I, sections C1 do not apply to you. All other laws still apply. Okay, so basically you still have to have private land will work. Um, property will be validated by the tax collection office. We're under the rules. <laughs> oh, this is a this is like a horrible dystopian nightmare. Just reading this, this will be hilarious. Um, you'll always be given a fair trial. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You have the right to do anything outside of the walls. Laws do not apply outside the walls. Um, you may name any unnamed creature without permission. Um, your builds will never be interfered with unlawfully. You may contest anything at least once in court. You have all rights to communal resources. You may be provided free healthcare, resources, and aid. You have the right to life. Um, end of the Book of Law. S signed by um, Deadbolt and his um, Supreme High. And with the stroke of my pen, um, it becomes law. All right, um, I had to take a small break, so now that I'm back, I have uh, plans to go ahead and... All right, I'll fix that later. Um, go ahead and um, finish up getting some armor. Um, I might go for just some diamond or um, iron armor for now. Um, ideally, I wanna go ahead and max out diamond armor eventually. Um, but it really depends on what sort of villager trades people already have uh, down here. Um, like if we, for mending, mending, so touch and breaking three, depth rider three, short three. I was looking for a protection, um, power, and infinity. So, including fire. All right. Uh, does not look like we have protection, so I'll just have to go ahead and enchant for that. Um, we should have, I think we have a, lo a lot of diamonds, um, as a community, so I should be able to just go ahead and craft some stuff, although I kind of wish, um, actually, no, I'll go ahead and make a, uh, another villager, um, for the diamond, um, enchanted tradings, um, and then go ahead and use that stuff to go ahead and, um, unenchant and then re-enchant with level 30 enchants until I can get some decent ish armor um so yeah uh let's go ahead and get started on getting all right um i managed to go ahead and uh do that um it has been a few days later since i last recorded um so a lot of stuff has actually changed in the server um people are actually moving on a lot faster than i am for some stuff um so it took me two three days uh to go ahead and get a decent set of armor it's not like great um, but most of it has not mending on it, and it all has decent enough enchants um, for me not to uh, worry about the um, damage it takes. Um, so I can just go ahead and uh, finish up whenever possible. Um, but yeah, uh, while I have um, been uh, doing other stuff, um, as I said, a lot of progress has been made on the server. Um, as you might have noticed from the last one, I people have gone ahead and started a sort of... Um, rules for this area 
Um, but they've also gone ahead and made a lot of progress, especially they got like six beacons, um, which from what it sounds like, they took like, you know, very little time to actually go ahead and do. Um, people have cleaned up around here a little bit more. Um, someone started building this. I don't know whether this will be permanent. Um, yeah, no. um, and yeah, a lot of other stuff's been cleaned up. Um, they built this whole thing over here, um, which apparently will be probably managing some of the toxins and stuff that was talked about in the rules. Um, but yeah, um, other than that though, uh, not much has changed. Uh, we'll probably start worrying about right now, uh, figure out where that end thing is, um, and then go ahead and, um, ending up the episode, uh, once we find that and maybe just do a little bit of progress between, uh, this stream and, um, next stream for or this video and next video on unlocking chunks around that um and ending sort of the episode here um so with that said um hopefully you guys um like this video i'll see if i have enough content for actually making a video once i get to editing otherwise i might come back for a little bit of extra stuff um maybe build like a little bit of a fancier thing um in a time lapse or something for the end of this video um, but anyways, I'll see you guys later, uh, probably Monday for a hard mode or stream, or um, maybe a Minecraft stream if you guys vote for that in my Discord. Um, other than that, um, bye.